So welcome to another episode on Sports Takeoff. Uh, today's clip is going to be a little different than usual. Um, I'm going to go over something that really bugs me as a coach, and I see like a lot of guys do it. And I just figure it's something that I should put out there. I'm pretty sure you can find this information somewhere, but I figured I'm going to make videos to help people with this. So when you're making a highlight tape, it's very, very important the way that you put this clip together. If you're making it with the intentions of being recruited. I mean, if you're making a highlight tape just, you know, for your social media or, you know, just for your family, for memories or for friends to watch. Okay, this is something completely different. How you put that tape together is up to you. You know, the cinematics and everything is, you know, whatever you do in that situation doesn't matter. But if you're wanting to make a highlight tape with the intent of getting recruited, whether it's high school players um, getting ready to go to colleges or, you know, maybe college players getting ready to pursue the pros or, you know, overseas playing, professional playing professionally overseas, or whatever you're doing, if you're using it with the intent of getting recruited, there's some key things that you need to make sure that you remember. So, uh, you know, I'm going to give you, I guess I'll give you four tips right now, and then hopefully it helps you out uh, in the future. Okay, so the number one thing, and you know, I, I like to think of, it's the first thing I think the mind when I think of highlight tapes is that you need to put your best plays first. Um, a lot of people, what they tend to do is they get, you know, go from game to game, and then, you know, you have uh, all clips from one game. But this is not the way you should put it together. You need to get all your clips lined up and pick your best 10 to 15 clips to start and put those all at the beginning of your highlight tape. Um, you know, if you're a receiver... And you have, you know, let's just say your receiver, you had 10 touchdowns that year. Why would you start your highlight tape out with a three yards you know, slant? You know, catch it for three yards. Go ahead and put the big plays at the beginning. Coaches want to see, you know, they want to see the big plays because coaches have a lot of film to watch. So, you know, you want to make sure that they continue watching your film. If your film starts off with, you know, average plays, the likelihood of that coach continuing to watch the whole thing is really not going to happen. So um, what you want to do is put all of the good plays at the very, very beginning. Um, whether that's touchdowns, I don't know, big catches. But, you know, put the great stuff at the beginning. That's number one. Number two, show your show a variety and, versi and your versatility throughout this highlight tape. If you're a DB and receiver, let's just say you're a high school, you're a DB and receiver, start your highlight tape off with, you know, touchdown catches, interceptions. If you're a returner, you know, big returns, start it off with, like that so that the coach at the very beginning of the tape, he knows, oh, this guy can do this, oh, this guy can do this. And he sees like, ah, you have the ability to do more than one thing. You know, if he's, if he's, if it's, you start your tape off with, Let's just say you're a your receiver, a DB, and, you know, you send your highlight tape to a coach. And, you know, maybe you have, a, you know, just receiving uh, receiving stuff at the very beginning. Maybe in his mind, he's thinking, oh, we already have enough receivers. So we go ahead and cut that. You know, he go ahead and stop watching that. Even though you could be a, you're a great player and, you know, but they just don't have room for another receiver. But once he sees, like, oh, this guy can play another position as well, as you know, you're you're just more valuable the more that you can do. So once again, show a lot of variety and versatility in your plays. Number three, um, as we all know, like on certain levels, you don't always have the best film. So it's very, very important when you're creating your highlight tape that you highlight yourself at the beginning of every play. Um, it's pretty simple to do in, pretty, in almost all of the basic uh, movie making or video making uh, applications, you know, whether it's just a little arrow or a circle, you know, it, ha it doesn't have to be anything advanced. But when the coach is watching the tape, the coach needs to know where you are. Each play, he's he doesn't want to have to look and try to figure out, ah, is that him? Is that him? Or is that another guy? You make it make it known exactly where you are 
at the very beginning of each play so he can watch you throughout that play. And my last tip, include all important information. Um, let's just say your name, your jersey number. If you have a different jersey number and you know, a home and away jersey, things like this happen. So you know, you need to send this type of information to the coach so he knows what he's looking for. Um, you wanna send like your height, your weight, um, all the key stats that a player, I mean, that a coach would want to know about you. So it's very important that you send all of this information as well as your contact information. Um, whether that's email, you can send them your social media, make sure your social media is clean. Uh, you can send them your social media, um, telephone number, just any way that he wants to get in contact with you. But sometimes we receive, um, highlights from, you know, it can be other players or other coaches who be like, ah, I know you're looking for a DB, you know, here's, here's a guy, take a look at him. But you have this film, but then you don't have on this film, like any information as far as to how to contact him. So, you know, just a way of putting, you know, whether it's your Instagram or whether it's, you know, just your email, create it. If you don't want to give out your public email, create an email specifically for recruiting. And, you know, that way, when the coach really wants to get in contact with you, he can easily get in contact with you. I'm gonna go back over those four things again. So to remember, once again, put your best plays first, show a lot of variety and versatility throughout your plays, highlight yourself um, before each play, and make sure you put your contact information in there. Um, Gonna start doing a little bit more with the recruiting world and helping guys get overseas. And whether it's just giving little tips for guys going to from high school trying to make it to college, uh, just giving little tips, you know, in the recruiting world that may help you out and may benefit you. I was fortunate enough to have a father who was in this sports world of recruiting, so he knew the things that should be done and shouldn't be done. So you know, I learned a lot throughout my recruiting process from high school to college and then from college into my professional career. Um, so I just want to pass this information down. So if you got any questions or anything, make sure you feel free to leave them in the comments below um, and I'll get back to you. Once again, thanks for watching this video. Hit a like, subscribe, you know, all of that stuff kind of helps and we'll get more videos out to you. Peace.